Monday morning's breakfast. I have my um, frittata that I've been making for one point. If you go back on my channel, you can uh, find the recipe for that. It's a Weight Watchers recipe that I've adapted a little bit. Um, I'm having a very ripe banana with two tablespoons of the PB2. I like the one with premium chocolate in it. I do not like the other PB2. My coffee is one point for three tablespoons of the Coffee Mate sugar-free sweet Italian cream. And in that I put an eighth of a cup of almond milk for zero. So 1.0 in my coffee. And then I always add a little bit of stevia, one of the flavored stevias. So um, three point breakfast right here. And I will catch you guys in a few minutes. Good morning, everybody. It's Monday. And I just got a text that said I'm going to be by myself. I'm going to be the only RN on the floor today. So that is going to be crazy pants. Um, just going to try to make the best of it. But it, that means I'm going to be getting my steps in. So that's good, right? Oh. At least it's doable. You know, um, back in the L&D days, I wouldn't have survived by myself. So, <clears throat> at least I can somewhat manage it. It's just going to be a lot of running. I'm going to be running. But I'm ready. So, Anita. Anita called me out on Facebook yesterday. I've got my water. <laughs> I love that I have people that are keeping me like, keep my, keeping my feet on the ground with all this stuff and not letting me get away with stuff. So I'm a terrible, terrible water drinker. I didn't drink one, like not one thing of water this weekend. You know what I drink a lot of, which is a problem? Fresca. Now you guys know I have been Diet Coke free since August the 1st. 2016. Okay, so I stopped drinking diet soda. Now, to me, Fresca is just, I mean, it's its like Diet Coke's baby sister. You know? Um, she may not be, have the dark coloring of the syrup, but she's still, she's like Diet Coke in disguise. And I need to stay away from her. So I started, I got some Fresca when I had the flu. Actually, I got some Fresca to go on the cruise. Then it was going to be like my treat for the cruise. Um, you know, so, okay. One of my subscribers made the best analogy on my rant on Saturday when I was saying that I just can't do the Cheeto thing. I can't just have one a small bag of Cheetos. It sets me off. She was saying it's like gateway foods, kind of like gateway drugs, you know, like they say marijuana is a gateway drug, right? That, you know, starting marijuana kind of opens you up to trying other things. That's another conversation. I'm just using that as an example. So, <laughs> she said the Cheetos were like my gateway drug. Okay, Fresca is my gateway drink then because I rationalized while I had the flu my husband went and got me two two liters of Fresca and over that week I drank both of them then Asher went I asked him to and they wouldn't go buy me Diet Coke if I said can you go get me some Diet Coke they'd be like no because they know that I am off the sauce okay but Asher is a doll and went and bought me um, Fresca as his mother requested and I have been chugging those suckers <clears throat> the only water that I had was like when we went out sorry I'm congested was when we went out for um, let me see what was it lunch we went out for lunch on Saturday I posted a picture of my lunch on Saturday on Instagram um, we went to TJ Fridays and I'm going to turn you guys off for just a second. Hold on. 
Okay, sorry. Um, when I go into work later, by the way, we're obviously not vlogging in the dark because it's one of my late mornings. So my mornings vary. They're, you know, I can go in late, I can go in early, I cannot go in. <laughs> Um, so what was I saying? Okay. So I went out to lunch on Saturday with my husband and they, the boys wanted to go to my husband and my son, the guys, whatever, wanted to go to TJI Fridays. And I was like, I don't know what I can have there, but they really wanted to go try the hamburgers there. You know, they are hamburger connoisseurs. So, um, which, by the way, they like the hamburgers. I had a bite of my husband's hamburger, and I counted it for two points. It probably was more than that, but I just counted it for two. So, I got a Caesar salad, and what I did was I asked them not to put any oil on the salmon. I had salmon on top. No oil on the salmon. I squeezed lemon juice over my salmon. Um, and the dressing on the side, and they gave me the Caesar salad dressing. And I use that fork dip method where you dip the fork in, you know, you just dip your fork in and then you take a bite and it gets a little bit of the salad dressing on each bite. And I ended up using like a third of one of those, you know, the little black cups of dressing they give you in the restaurant. I ended up using like a third of that. So I counted that for three points just to be, because half of a tablespoon of Caesar dressing in the app is three points and I couldn't be very exact so I went ahead and counted it at the higher point value and then I had crouton it had croutons on it like five or six big croutons which I counted for four points and then it had shaved parmesan just a little bit over the top which I counted for like three or four points I can't remember um, I had one one glass of water <clears throat> at lunch then I had a glass of water after church yesterday. The whole rest of the time, I had coffee. I had Fresca. Um, I had a couple of LaCroix, the sparkling water. Um, someone asked me where I grew up and where I live now. I grew up mostly in Florida. My family moved a lot. But we always would kind of go back to Florida. My dad was a pastor. I've talked about that before. And I live in the South now. So there you go. Um, I don't think I've really had a lot of other questions. Somebody mentioned that I didn't look like I need to lose 58. Oh, Fiona said she didn't think I needed to lose, or I don't look like I need to lose 58 pounds. Well, I do. So I'm at 238 point something. I'm, I'm five, eight and a half, five, eight, five, eight and a half. I don't know. Uh, I used to be five, nine. So my very highest weight was 288. Uh, my very highest recorded weight on a Weight Watchers success book was 275. I'll show you guys that at some point here. Um, in high school, I weighed 180 and wore a size 810. And that's where I'm, that's my goal weight that I'm aiming for. I think the top of the Weight Watchers range for me is 169. Um, I don't remember. I'm sure I weighed that like in the second grade. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm not a small, small person. <clears throat> so, I think 180 is a good place to kind of start. But yeah, I definitely, I mean... I definitely need, Fiona, you're sweet, but I definitely need to lose 58 more pounds to be what I consider in a healthy range. And I know that I can get a note from my primary care provider stating that 180 is a good goal weight for me. If I ever got, like 169, if I ever got there, I just don't know what that, I mean, I think that that's probably my ideal like dream number because it's on the Weight Watchers book and I think my BMI would be normal at 169 or whatever um, I think at 180 I'm still considered overweight but 
that's that. Um, once I get to, so reward-wise, I've been looking at rewards and writing them down. When I get to 229, I'm gonna get myself some new scrubs and some new shoes for work. Um, I have a favorite brand of work shoe. It's called Allegria. Um, you know, I never have any like foot fatigue or foot pain in them, so I, I love those shoes. So I probably will get some new shoes, and I'm gonna need some new scrubs because most of my scrubs are too big. So I probably just get like one set of scrubs. And I need to start going through my clothing and getting away, uh, getting away, giving away, donating. And then I think I'm going to look into Thread Up and get a bag to send stuff to Thread Up to get some credit there. Um, that is like a resale online clothing store. And I bought a couple things from there in the past and like, I really like their service. Um, <clears throat> so I probably will start doing some of that and getting rid of my larger sizes. Right now I'm wearing a 14, 16. Um, at my high weight, I was wearing a 22, 24. So I'm right, right around a 14, 16. Um, and I'd like to get back down to like a women's like 10 ish. Um, <clears throat> 10, 12 type of, type of deal. I don't know, somewhere in there. You know, I, I don't know. I don't even know size wise what I want. To be. <coughs> Ew. Um, I just want to, you know, I love that I'm shopping in normal sizes and that's very encouraging to me. Um, so, okay. So I'm going to show you guys everything I eat today. Um, I have it all planned out. I'm going to go and I will see you guys at lunchtime. I'll show you lunch and we will go from there. My lunch I have um, my soup it's black bean soup and I'm counting two points for it because it has bacon and I use some avocado oil um, and then I have oh, my stomach's growling and then I have three points worth of cheese so this is five points for that um, I have a little one point dessert that I showed you guys yesterday in my meal prep um, I also have some of these organic um, peppers I love these so I might dip these in my soup and I have a La Croix so six points for lunch um, I did have a quest bar earlier that I didn't get a chance to show you guys and I have a pure protein premier I'm sorry premier protein for two points for <laughs> this afternoon oh my gosh it is like so Monday you guys anyway there's that so I'm gonna go eat because I am really hungry all right another Monday in the bag for this nurse um hey everybody it's four ish and I'm headed home um, this morning was wild and crazy this afternoon I caught up on everything so that was cool um, I was by myself as an RN so not in the whole like place but you know where I the area that I work so managed to put out some fires um, and just do my thing and it was actually I have I work with wonderful people wonderful and they have my back so they picked up some of the slack for me so that I could do three RN rolls and a PCT roll <laughs> this morning for about five hours or five and a half hours. I was three RNs and a PCT. We did it. Um, it wasn't it was fine. So um, I managed to get in nine thousand steps. So that tells you uh, how much I did today and then this afternoon I played catch up with some of the fun um, administrative stuff so that's good good day at work uh, definitely miss my boss hopefully she'll be back tomorrow I'm drinking one of these they're delicious I try not to buy them because they had these for 60 cents at Big Lots yesterday and I love them so much they're you know 
a problem. So I just feel so ins I just feel so inspired when I make like new recipes. I don't know if you guys are like this, but like especially right now, I just it's like back when I used to do Weight Watchers, and I'm having so much fun with it. Like I'm really having a lot of fun. Um, somebody said they wanted me to do an Aldi haul. protein drink. What is that thing? Premier protein. <laughs> um, on my way home because I was feeling really hungry and it was, I got home at like four, it's only 4.45 right now. So I didn't want to eat dinner this early. So I drank that and then I only had 9,000 steps. So it's so beautiful outside. I decided to take a quick walk um, and get my 10,000 steps for the day because that's one of my main goals and now that I'm feeling better it's so funny when you start to feel better like when you perk up after being sick you're just like it's just great so so um, all of my neighbors are trying to I guess they're taking their kids to practice and stuff. Because <laughs> I've almost gotten backed out on like 10 times. Um, but anyway, it's just a beautiful day. I really don't want it to get hot again because I have just loved my walks since it got cooler in the fall. Like since I started Weight Watchers. I just love them. I never really liked walking this much, um, like by myself, but I do know that um, when my boys were little, I'm going to cross the street because there's lots of people out on this side of the road, um, when my boys were little, I used to take them, my husband and I would go walking all the time, and I forgot how much I love it, so they put all new sidewalks in, our little town like the little downtown area so I have these beautiful brand new sidewalks and when the weather's nice it's great when it gets hot I'm gonna have to go back to the gym so because it gets really really hot and I'm a redhead and I don't want to burn burn to death so sweat to death anyway gonna get my 10,000 almost there and home. We had some people from church want us to come over for dinner, but my husband's just going to go. Cause by this point in the day, I'm just really peopled out and it's not any particular person. It's just, I just need to go like unplug myself and um, I usually read or, 
you know, something like, you know, do some stuff. I need to clean a couple of things that I didn't get to yesterday. And I just put either music on or put YouTube videos on. And I just need to not have to respond in an intelligent manner. <laughs> so I don't want to go over there and just sit there and stare at them. Does that make sense? So I told my husband, I said, just go do your thing. Go be pastoral and um, enjoy that. And I'm going to enjoy him being gone. I love him so much, but I also love having like quiet time. So I'm going to go back and do that. And Asher will still be home. So, but he's an introvert. <laughs> So we'll have minimal, we'll just have a little chat over dinner and that will be sufficient. He'll come out of his room every little while and make sure that I guess I'm still there or something. I don't know. He's so funny. All right. See you guys at dinner. I have a big salad here with, I did put some Kirkland cheese. I'm going to have it one time this week because I still have a lot left in here. Um, two tablespoons of this for one point. I'm gonna be putting probably three or four tablespoons of this Olive Garden Italian dressing. I think four tablespoons is two or three points. I'll put the points at the bottom. Chicken breast, tomatoes, beans, um, lettuce greens. Uh, I have the bread and butter lettuce, which I love. It, or butter lettuce, not bread and butter. Butter lettuce and then the spring mix. I found these bowls. They remind me of the Panera bowls. I found them at Big Lots, <laughs> but they're so pretty for a salad. Um, so anyway, it looks like it's gonna be about a three or four point salad that I'm having. I'm also gonna have a sweet potato. I'll show you guys that when I get it out to eat it. Here is my six point sweet potato with a fourth of a tablespoon of butter for seven points. And I just ate one of those little hot dog things. I don't know what, I just opened this little container and it like, it like popped into my mouth. So two points for one of these little hot dogs with the, um, this is the two ingredient dough. So nine more points for that little nibble. Um, so I'm going to have a, one of those little dessert cups because I'm still feeling kind of munchy tonight. I don't know what's going on, but. I'm gonna do, let me see if I can get it out. Um, a little one point dessert. Um, this is just the Faye yogurt with the sugar-free, fat-free uh, white chocolate. And then um, I put a tablespoon of the Hershey's sugar-free syrup on that. So the yogurt with the one serving of pudding is one point and the syrup is zero. So one point. So. That's the end of my eating for today. I'm gonna to do that in just a second. And call it a night. Um, I think I'm in the 20, I think I've had 21 points for the day. So, I will get this vlog posted up tomorrow. Um, and I will see you, I'll vlog tomorrow and post it up the next day and we'll keep going. Um, anyway, another great day on Weight Watchers, very happy that I got all my steps today. I'm at 12,222 steps. So that is wonderful. Thanks for all your encouragement and I will see you soon. Bye.